Welcome back to Test Lucky, the YouTube channel where you can follow the adventures of Lucky the Tesla. Today I called Tesla and I had a major learning about the over the air software updates that I want to share with you in addition to the answers to two other questions. But first, as it relates to our channel, if you already love Tesla, if you're thinking about buying a Tesla, or if you're just curious about electric vehicles in general, please subscribe to our channel, Test Lucky. All of our videos are Tesla related. So today's phone call to uh, Tesla was inspired by a post that I saw in the uh, Tesla Model X owners community group on Facebook. There was a gentleman there who posted he was confused because he received the over the air software update to his 2018 Model X that he took delivery of in April and he downloaded the 36.2.1 software update and said, where is my extra power? Where is my one pedal driving? Because these two new features have been uh, creating a lot of buzz in the media and on social media. And as soon as I saw his post, it reminded me of when we were waiting for the V10 software update and we were hoping to get YouTube and get Netflix into our uh, Model X, but because our vehicle is older and we have a different processor in our MCU, um, our, the hardware for our older 2016 Model X uh, just does not support those new entertainment features. And so when I um, saw this post, you know, I too was looking forward to one pedal driving, more power and cone detection because uh, I've been reading so much about these cool new features and it just made me think, hmm, maybe our hardware won't support these new features. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. Let's call Tesla uh, to find out. So that's what I did. Um, now, because there are really long hold times when you call Tesla, I always like to come up with at least three questions so I can uh, get some more um, education out of the experience of having to sit on hold for a long time. Today, I only had to hold for 23 minutes. That's actually like the shortest hold time that I have ever had uh, as far as trying to get a Tesla representative on the phone. 23 minutes, that was all. So I asked question number one, and the way I phrased it actually, because Lucky is in the body shop still, and I had asked them at the body shop not to download the software update uh, if possible, and they, you know, had agreed to that. But what I asked was, is Lucky is in um, service mode. Are they able to let me know if she's due for a software upgrade? If so, which one and what new features can we expect in that software update based on the hardware in our Model X? So the information I was given from Tesla, I've got some notes because I want to make sure I get everything right. Uh, we are due to download 2019.32.12 and I assume that they must be uh, there must be an extension of 0.4 at the end of that because our last software update was 0.3 and the Tesla representative said that this update will only include bug fixes and patches which would be the third time in a row that we've only had bug fixes and patches from a software update. So I asked, what about the extra power? What about the one pedal driving? And what about the cone detection that everyone is uh, talking about? Um, he put me on hold, he did some research and he come, came back and said that indeed our hardware is too old. I asked him if he could explain why the hardware was too old. And he put me on hold again and came back. He couldn't tell me exactly for all the features why the hardware was too old. Um, but he did say that as it relates to cone detection, our camera set is Monocam instead of Parker Pascal. I don't actually know what Parker Pascal is. I haven't had time to Google it yet, but we are not going to get cone detection because our camera set is Monocam in our 
August 2016 uh, Model X. Uh, I did get some information about the um, power increase and the one pedal driving for drivers with newer Teslas as to what the cutoff dates are for the hardwares for each of these features. So to help set expectations appropriately for everyone who gets excited about these software updates, for the power increase that everyone is talking about, it has to be a Model X or S produced after April 23rd, 2019. That is the exact date that Tesla gave me. As for what's called stop mode, which I think is associated with one pedal driving, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but they said it's a uh, third option with creep that prevents the car from hitting something in front if it's in creep mode and the person in front slams on the brakes, something like that, we're not we're not getting it. But if your Tesla was produced after after April 2019, then uh, you would be getting stop mode added. And then the cone detection is for cars produced in March of 2018 or uh, more recent than that. So those are the dates uh, that they gave. Now this combined with the V10 software update and the MCU issue not giving us Netflix and YouTube to, is a major learning to me that those of us with older Teslas should not get caught up in all the hype in the social media about this new feature or that new feature until we get our download, until we read in our release notes what new features uh, our systems can handle uh, based on the older uh, hardware. Um, you know, I've had Lucky, the Tesla Model X, for nine months. Um, this is sort of the second time I've had this aha moment, and I hope that it uh, hits this time, and I won't uh, won't get uh, all excited for things that are exciting for other Tesla owners, just not features that are, are going to be able to um, enjoy. You know, in our um, Model X, our older Model X. There was another learning related to the software updates as well, and then I will quickly address uh, questions uh, two and three because those are not as in-depth as question one. Uh, but um, a lot of people are posting, like this gentleman I saw on the um, Model X uh, Owners Community Facebook group, that they're getting the 2019.36 updates and we're still on 2019.32. So people are posting about dot 36. We're oh, expecting another update to dot 32. I asked Tesla about this. I got a little bit of a, um, uh, a theory type answer instead of a confident factual type answer, but said, they said it's most likely because the people who are getting those updates, there's something to their newer vehicles that that software will improve and that we're only gonna get the more advanced software updates when something in that update will directly improve the features and the performance of our older Tesla Model X. So that's what I learned as it relates to all the hype about the new software update and the extra power and the um, one pedal driving and the cone detection. So uh, while I was on the phone with them, uh, I did ask question number two, which was relating to a specific destination charger in Williams, Arizona. I we are going to be going to the Grand Canyon this weekend. We were researching because we expect to get lucky back on Friday. And as soon as we get her, we want to drive, 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 drive her. Um, and I was looking on the Tesla website, trying to find a destination charger in Williams, Arizona, and it wasn't showing me one. It showed the closest one in Flagstaff, which was gonna be 30 miles further than the destination that we are planning to go to. Um, so basically from like 30 minutes of internet research later, I was on the Holiday Inn Express and Suites website in Williams, Arizona which the website claimed they had two Tesla chargers that one was working and one wasn't working. So I confirmed with a phone call that actually both of those Tesla destination chargers are working and that was not on the Tesla uh, route, tra route planning you know, website map. So I asked the um, Tesla rep if they could help me figure out why that wasn't um, on the Tesla website. 
This gentleman that I talked to, the Tesla gentleman, went to the Holiday Inn Express and Suites in Williams, Arizona's website. So he saw what I saw and he didn't know why it wasn't there, but he was gonna submit a ticket with the specific address of that location so that uh, the team who would be responsible for getting it added to the Tesla website could do that. I have read online this is question number three, that the Model S has 17 moving parts. So I asked the representative how many moving parts in our 2016 Model X. I was just wanting to know from like a curiosity perspective, because we all know that traditional cars have like 200 plus, you know, moving parts. And I think it's really cool the lower the number of moving parts is in uh, Lucky. So the Tesla put me on hold every single question except the second one they put me on hold to try to get um, details. It says, we don't have access to official data on this topic, but the Tesla representative did uh, check in the forums and said the consensus is, is that there are 17 to 24 moving parts in Lucky the Tesla. Model X 2016 August delivery. So there you have it. I feel like I learned a lot from calling Tesla today. The total phone call took about 55 minutes and I want to post these videos after every call to Tesla so that if my experience, if watching this video can save you the time of calling or help you become smarter about your Tesla and what features are coming, what features are not coming, um, I want to share the information. Thank you so much for watching Test Lucky. We hope that you have a wonderful day and that you will subscribe to our channel and come back and see us again soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.